Do you remember the guy named Fitz that gave his testimony about the interdimensional beings at the Bayside Shopping Mall in Florida? Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, my name is Fitz. I, um... I was there at the Bayside Mall with my family. So the very first video on Guy Named Fitz's account is him giving his testimony about what happened. I find it kind of strange that this guy's entire account is based off that alien sighting at the Bayside Shopping Center, which leads me to believe it's a psyops. This all conveniently happened around the same time that they released some confidential court dockets to the public regarding the Epstein client case. But I do find it interesting, there's a seven part series on his account. What made our situation a little bit different is that I do have footage. Um, and I didn't take it on a smartphone. But he did come out and say that sometimes when he goes out in public, he carries around a VHS camcorder that he's able to record on. I do take a VHS camcorder. Um, and that night when everyone was getting their phones confiscated and files deleted, nobody noticed that I had a VHS camcorder. Yeah, I have the footage here. I'm a firm believer that when they fired up the LHC at CERN, it inevitably tore holes in the fabric of our realities. And I know for a fact alternate dimensions are opening up to and folding into and onto our reality. We are three and four dimensional beings on the cusp of being able to experience five, six, and seven D consciousness. You, you know, bad people found out that we did. I don't know how, um, but they did. And things kind of went downhill from there. But we've already been planning uh, a release of the footage. Because um, a lot of other stuff happened that night that people don't know about. I've seen those black antimatter sea urchin beings in shadow work meditation. It's like a seventh dimensional symbiote. Because we thought, you know, just for our safety, it would be good to put it out there that we had it. Keep in mind that as we tap into 5, 6, and 7D consciousness, we're not only going to be able to see the spirits of light, we will also be able to see the inverted shadows of darkness. 